The Hi-Fi Man HE560 is a successor, if you will, of the well-regarded HE500. These are one of the rare performers incorporating planar magnetic speakers in this vast culmination of headphones that use a traditional dynamic driver. Let's see if Hi-Fi Man was successful in crafting something superior to such a legend in the Hi-Fi community. The HE560 comes in a beautiful wooden box with an aluminum sliding cover. The box has significant heft and substance to it and provides both great protection and aesthetic value when you are no longer using the headphones. Once the cover has been slid open, you'll see the HE560 nestled inside. Disregard the current presentation as you see in the video because I removed the foam insert. However, the packaging contents remain the same. The cable supplied in this iteration of the Hi-Fi Man series of headphones is a significant improvement to the silver braided variation of the previous models. It does unfortunately use the same tedious screw-on connectors and means of attaching the cable to the headphone. And like with most headphones, you also get warranty information and information of the product in hand and various other products underneath the manufacturer. The HE560 shares very little resemblance to the HE500 because of its new hammock based design which significantly improves comfort. Internally the biggest change is the shift from a dual sided magnet structure to a single rear sided magnet structure. The hammock design is something we've seen in AKG stacks or Philips headphones. I personally believe this is the best way to distribute the weight of the headphone onto the head minimizing pressure points and discomfort. The HE560 comes pre-installed with Hi-Fi Man's Focus Pad, which is essentially a fusion of velour and leather. It's very soft and goes around the entirety of my ear, resulting in a very comfortable experience along with the overall light weight of the HE560. The pads, like what's found in Odyssey headphones, has a slight angle with most of its depth forming around the back of the ear, allowing the speaker to deliver sound waves from a more front-firing position improving the overall sound stage. The ear cups swivel and pivot in various directions allowing the ability to adjust the various angles of your face and head and with all of this functionality put into the design it ranks the HE560 as one of the most comfortable headphones I have ever worn. The HE560 sound is something that is truly a work of art. The tonal balance is very smooth and coherent with no significant or worthwhile faults to mention. As with the measurements, you have that linear bass that extends endlessly down into the lower octaves of 30Hz and below with minuscule drop off. Then comes a mid range that connects to the bass like railroad tracks resulting in zero sense of bass bleed and a treble that doesn't unbearably overstep its boundaries even in the poorest of mastered tracks. The bass of the HE560 is nothing short of astonishing. I raved about this bass performance from the HE500 and notified that it's because of the planar magnetic technology and its large surface area allowing this to occur. The HE560's bass is a little bit more extended down low and possibly tighter, but the bass performance from both of these headphones is equally beautiful and embarrasses the tactility and authority found in the presentations of an open back dynamic driver bass construction. The mid-range here is just perfection. It is exquisitely tuned to bring out the weight and heft of the instruments, vocals, or harmonic texture while carefully balancing it with clarity that doesn't protrude too much into being harsh or unrealistically analytical. The overall characteristic is pretty much colorless and soulless. Now, this isn't a bad thing. It simply gathers what energy and color your music has conceived from the artist and sculpts it into one of the best private listening experiences you'll get from a headphone. Moving over to the treble, and here comes one of the best treble tonal signatures that I've come across. Like stated previously, it walks a fine line between stepping into being a dark presentation of the music or being too overly bright. Sibilance is a rare instance, and when it does occur, it's not distracting, which showcases the ability of the HE560 to smooth down the harsh transients of the poorly produced music. The extension is very good, and the sense of space and harmonic micro detailing capability seems improved over the HE500 and approaches the performance in that category of my Sennheiser HD700. The soundstage is also improved over my HE500, but not drastically so. 
There's a good sense of depth and presentation of the music on the Z, X, and Y axis, but it's not to the level of an angled open back dynamic driver with good transient response like the Philips Fidelio X2 or my current imaging king, the Sennheiser HD700. In summary, the HE560 is a worthwhile successor to the HE500 because it takes all of what made the HE500 special and adds incremental improvements overall from the sonic performance to build quality to the stellar overall comfort. Thanks for watching my video review of the Hi-Fi Man HE560. Later.